Steven here with Six City. We're here to say goodbye to Honest Ed's, one of Toronto's most famous landmarks. And as you can see, we kind of lost the law here. It looks like the whole area from Markham Street over from Bloor to Bathurst is going to be rezoned into a condo complex. And as you can see from some of the storefronts and buildings here, we're actually losing a lot of the culture and one of the really nice spots that make Toronto unique. So let's go check it out. Well, we're, we're taking down a sign, but we're not going to throw it away. We're taking it and caring and lovingly putting it back together. And we hope the city will give us permission to put it on Victoria Street on the Ed Mervish Theatre and explain how, with uh, the help of Honest Ed's, we were able to move as a family into the world of live theatre and do what we do today. And this store made it possible. You know, I'm really proud of who I chose as developers because this could have been a big box store, this could have been many other things. Uh, and these people have taken three years to talk to the community and they're really honoring my parents. They're going to call it Mervish Village, Mervish Village Market. Uh, they're going to uh, go back to my father's roots and have an open air market like the Borough Market in London, England. Are you mad about the sign being taken down? It was such a wonderful place to come, honestly. Yeah. And the atmosphere, people were so nice. It's not like, like people are not so nice anymore. I'm not mad about it because you know what? What is it going to, what is it there for anyway? It's a uh, history. It's been around for how many decades, the sign, since what, the uh, 70s? 80s, and it's very, very important for our for us to remember our past, yeah. in especially in Toronto. We got two dollars. There you go. So, how did what did you say? What did you think about the uh, Ed Mervis side going down? I don't know. Really, I couldn't care less. So, we're here with someone who's very passionate about Ed's warehouse, and you are Allison Kriba. Nice to meet you, Allison. Now, Allison, what are some of your memories from Ed's warehouse? Um, mostly just sort of exploring for the first time and second time and third time, getting literally lost in there and um, sorting through various bins of various items and sort of w being in awe and wonder of like the the unique quality as sort of like a old old time travel experience. All right, well that was a little bit of a bummer. Um, the sign has come down. Some people were sad. Some people were indifferent, and that's pretty much it. Six City over and out. Now this is gonna be a shame. When that sign goes, that's gonna be a real shame. Any comments? I don't ask. Them. No. There's no. Yeah. Thing. 